Hi, I'm Anna Louise and I'm here with some lockdown tips. <laughs> it's really struck me recently when I've been speaking to people that some people have been feeling frustrated and tired and fed up. And so I'm hoping to, in a few minutes, give you a bit of reframing to help you feel more open and positive, more relaxed and to feel the gifts in this time that are unfolding within you. The first lockdown, I think a lot of attention was put on what could we do in the house? What could we do to entertain ourselves? What could we do to grow in terms of maybe learning a language or getting fit or whatever it might have been? And that's all fantastic. And normally, obviously, when we're out in the world, we're doing lots of things, we're having lots of experiences and our lives are being enriched on that outer plane. What it feels like to me is this whole period is such an invitation to grow on the inside, like build our capacities, our personality traits that will set us up for the rest of our life. <laughs> It's like we're creating a suitcase of skills, internal skills, internal capabilities, because who knows the challenges that we're going to meet in the rest of our life, not just on a personal level, but also on a global level. And my sense is that we're all going to be asked to really be more of ourselves in order to be able to meet what's going to be here over time. And this is like the training ground. <laughs> and the nice thing is we've all been building these capacities over the last nearly a year now. And by turning our attention to them individually, we can not only appreciate how much we've grown, but we can also use it as a tool for strength and resilience on a daily basis. Because if we turn our attention to those capacities and say, how can I grow these in each day? It helps us to switch from like the negative thinking, the despondency, the despair, the trappedness into like more expansive and positive thinking. So I'm going to run through 10 just really quickly. And I'm sure you've got ones that feel more pertinent to you or maybe you might resonate particularly with the ones I say. Please feel free to write any comments. So the first one I think is resilience. You know, we've all become more resilient this year. <laughs> and so when we find ourselves up against our edges and we're finding something challenging about the lockdown, we can go, wow, how can I keep building my resilience in this? You know, what what about this situation makes me more resilient? Can I be more resilient? Can, for instance, I be more positive when I would normally be negative and in that way build resilience? <laughs> the next one is patience. I remember one teacher saying once that the most important thing to develop as a human being is patience. And it's something that in modern society we've really rather forgotten about in times where we had to grow all our crops and we didn't have the money to buy things when we wanted them. It was such a different way to live. But now we have this like, you know, now, now, now tendency. And yet patience is just such a skill, whether we're learning a new thing and we need to have patience, whether it's being patient with other people whether it's being patient with the situation, being able to retain that like sense of calm, <laughs> even when things are hard and we're all developing patience this year. Yeah. And then that links to having a really big perspective, I think. So being able to see things in a much bigger sense of time. So that's a tool I use a lot. So when I find that I'm getting a little bit triggered and a little bit stuck, I open myself up to a bigger sense of time and see myself in the context of not only my life but multiple lifetimes and that helps me relax in myself and go, ha, huh, you know, this really is just a tiny little thing happening right now. Yeah, it might be hard but it's, you know, it's in a big picture. 
And the next thing is, what a great opportunity to practice gratitude <laughs> in this pandemic. Because it really helps us see how much liberty many of us normally have. There are millions and millions of people living in the world without their liberty. And even when we're restricted, we're in, many of us in a home with things that we can do. We still have free choice in terms of how we think about our minds and what we choose in every day. We have so much liberty still compared with millions and millions of people. And so just really being able to appreciate that and appreciating what we do have. And when we go out again, like being able to appreciate that even more, it's just like every day we can just come back to that sense of gratitude. And self-sufficiency is another one. I suspect we've all become more self-sufficient. I know I've become much more self-sufficient being locked down alone, not being able to rely on human contact, not being able to rely on a lot of the things that I really loved bringing into my day. It creates this resourcefulness and that's an incredible skill to have because we never know when we might be alone we never know when we might be in a situation which requires more self-sufficiency. So again, like, oh, wow, yeah, this is really bringing this gift to me, <laughs> being self-sufficient. And it's also bringing out compassion. We're really feeling what's going on for other people, feeling their suffering, feeling their pain, being with them in spirit, all the people that are working so hard and giving up everything in order to help others and that can activate our compassion and the sense of kindness that we all want to share between each other and that links into very closely into a sense of consideration <laughs> So wouldn't it be a great world if we were all considerate of the people around us? And this is a big lesson in that, right? Like knowing that if we're considerate, if we're responsible, we could save someone else's life. And it's not so obvious in daily life. But at the moment it is really obvious that if we're considerate we can potentially really help other people and so that again like even in the small day wow i'm not going out i'm being really considerate <laughs> it's just great and then creativity <laughs> how many new solutions have we found to problems so many new solutions new ways of doing things, new ways of resourcing ourselves, new ways of connecting with each other, new ways of cooking dinner, making bread. And creativity is wonderful because it's all creating new neural pathways. So whenever we end up doing something differently and doing it in a different way, we can go, wow, my brain is growing. <laughs> And uh, I'm laughing now. The next one is lightheartedness and humour. <laughs> I think this is one of the most beautiful human qualities. I feel so lucky to be human because of my ability to find things funny. Because <laughs> uh, it's just, wow, what a gift to be able to laugh. Even in tough times is to be able to laugh. And I think generally we do laugh more in tough times. And being able to notice that and go, wow, we have the gift of humour and we have the gift of making things light and knowing that even when it gets really hard, we can ask ourselves to access that place of greater lightness, perhaps find a friend to laugh with or look at something that's funny. 
and that changes all of our neurology and our system and everything within it. It's just like, ah, oh, yeah, I can let go of so much of the stress. <laughs> and the last one is recognizing our vulnerability. None of us are safe. Of course, none of us are ever safe. But having something that presents a bit more of a threat really helps realize how precious our life is and how much we want it and how much we can focus on making the best of it. So in these times when we might feel restricted and frustrated and not able to do the things that we used to enjoy, we can turn it inward to a path of inner growth, to these things and so much more that will create a foundation to change our lives for the rest of our life. Because all of these capabilities change everything around us. If we show up more of that, we have more ability to live life to the full in all our compassion, our vulnerability, and our openness, and our wisdom, and our perspective. <laughs> so I hope that's hopeful, helpful. Please do post. Please post if you have more things that you find you're growing from the inside. I'd just love to hear. And if you want to find out more about what I do, go to www.resonating.love and do subscribe if you want to hear more from me.